they will have a moment to speak, but I want first of all to read the statement for this presser, and we'll open up for questions. So, um, we have met here this morning as elected MPs, among the ones who have uh, before us, in addition, we have uh, Honorable Kibangendi, who is supposed to be here, Honorable Sothi, who is supposed to be here, Honorable Edwin Sifuna, who is supposed to be here, and there are part of this statement that have all signed. And we have met here as elected MPs and members in good standing of the Orange Democratic Movement Party to set the record straight with regard to recent happenings within the party. We wish to make clear that many of us, if not all of us here, were present during both the ODM and the Azimio parliamentary group held on the 12th of July at the Jaramogi Foundation in Nairobi. At no time during the said meetings was it resolved that either the party or the coalition will be joining a coalition with William Ruto's KK party. It therefore came as a shock when senior members of ODM showed up on a list of cabinet appointees announced by Ruto yesterday. That some of our leaders have chosen to join a government indicted by the Kenyan people reflects badly on a party that has always advocated for and stood with the people. We have all along maintained support for the ongoing struggle to address the long-standing governance issues bedeviling Kenya and are appalled that we are now seen to be joining forces with the people responsible for these issues. To make it worse, the appointment do not reflect the diversity of the party we, we love, as there clearly was no regard to gender, age, or regional considerations. We wish to reiterate that the position of the party as communicated by our Secretary General, who is Edwin Sifuna, earlier this week, that indeed the decision by our four comrades were personal and not as a result of any decision passed by the party. We call on the party leadership to move with speed and replace, and replace them. That is the end of the statement. I want to finish by saying that ODM party is like an army. Four of our generals and the brigadiers have deserted duty and they're gone to sleep with our enemy. It has no direction from the commander in chief, who is the Raila Molo Odinga. The party leader was abroad on a private visit only to come back and find four generals and the brigadier have deserted duty and they joined the opposite camp. So we are saying this is not the position of the party. Such, such monumental, monumental decision affecting the history, the principles, the ideologies of the party must have been passed by the parliamentary group meeting. I want to give uh, my colleagues to add on what I said, and I'll leave room for questions. Who's ready to hatch some cool pets? Click here to make your very own monster on Adapted Mod. As a party, as elected members of the party, we want to reiterate and want to be very clear that ODM is an organized party and has got very elaborate structures and a elaborate decision-making process as enshrined in its constitution. ODM has always been people-centered, has always practiced social democracy, where everybody matters and where the welfare of the people of Kenya matters. ODM is ODM what it is because of those long-held values. Our colleagues who have left to join government have left, I want to reiterate again to repeat, on their own volition. The ODM party is not in a coalition government with the KK party. ODM will remain in parliament as the minority party and will continue to offer oversight the KK government 
and expose all the ills, all the corruption, so that we continue to build and enhance this constitution and enhance our integrity, accountability. We wonder, we just hope The, our, our colleagues who have joined the government are not going to soil the good name of ODM because we don't see much that's going to come out of this KK government. We do not know exactly what they are going to do. So as a party, we dissociate ourselves from them, let them go in their individual. If they want to go and serve KK government, if they know how to implement bottoms up, let it their business, but it's not any way connected to the ODM party. Thank you. Uh, m mine is very brief. One, that I want to wish uh, those who have uh, relinquished their party positions uh, to join a government well. And I want to declare here that I will be offering myself to replace one of the leaders who has le left the party so that we can continue with the ideals of this party. The public is wondering whether really it was the right time for us to abandon the course. And we are telling the public we have not abandoned the course. It is just generous who have downed tools and other generals must be appointed to take over uh, the war at the, uh, the battlefront. Finally, I want to say this. ODM is a national party. We cannot reduce it to sharing seats tribally. It is very, very unfortunate. It is unfortunate that we lost 50, over 50 young people in the last one month. It's unfortunate that we lost 75 people last year. And before we resolve the issues of their compensation, before we sit down to address the issues being addressed by Gen Z, we behave like vultures. It's totally unfortunate. And like my honorable owner said, we dissociate ourselves from individual decisions of members of the party. Thank you. Honorable uh, Yeah. Yeah, yeah question. Yes. Uh, two things. The, the, the names submitted, the, the names and all that, they're coming for betting and all that. What will be your uh, individual position when they come to bed? And then the second question that Kenyans across are asking, and it's serious. Can the four individuals go on their own without the blessing of the party leader? Knowing the way OGM has been and, all that, uh, and the other political parties, can they go on their own without the uh, blessing of the party? Can people believe that it was there on their own and not without the blessing of the who are talked of dialogue and who are the... Uh... Yes, uh, as much as there is a party leader, but ODM operates uh, under certain structures. And uh, one of the highest decision making is a parliamentary group that uh, was called upon uh, last week that comprom co comprises the members of parliament and uh, also uh, members of the National Executive Council. They sat, we deliberated on the issue of... Uh